this week we are going to be making keto cheesecake because that's what y'all asked for. Here we go. Step one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and grease a nine inch spring form pan. I don't know if this is nine inches, but it's close enough. Step one, complete. So first we're going to make the crust of the cheesecake and then we're gonna bake it for a little while while we make the filling. I didn't know cheesecake takes so long. I really thought this was gonna be a short video, but it's gonna set in the fridge for four hours. Did y'all know that? What have I got myself into? Anyways, for the crust, we're gonna be using almond flour, butter, sweetener, and uh, some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna mix that all together, and uh, then we're gonna put it in the oven for 10 minutes while we make the filling. But I would like to inform y'all that below, right there in the description box, I am going to link the recipes. I've been doing it every week, but I don't, I don't think anybody's noticed, nor have I told y'all that this was going on. But the recipes are linked below, so y'all can look up the recipes and try them on your own. I just broke the measuring cup. Please don't tell Kat. We're gonna start with two cups of almond flour. Next, we're gonna add a third cup of butter and we're gonna melt it and then add it to the almond flour. And then we're going to add our sweetener and our vanilla, and then we're gonna put it in the pan and make a crust out of it. It's gonna be a good time. No, 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 no. Of course I made a mess. I can't be trusted. This is what our um, crust is gonna look like before we put it in the pan. I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in the pan and pat it down and try to make it pretty even. And while that's baking for 10 minutes, we are gonna start making the filling of our uh, cheesecake. The cheesecake part, you know? This is what our crust is gonna look like. Now we're gonna put it in the oven until it's lightly browned. And um, oh, there's the oven, so here we go. Okay, now we're gonna beat the cream cheese and sweetener together until it's fluffy. And then we're going to add all of our other ingredients, which are lemon juice, some more vanilla. Oh, eggs! We're gonna beat in our eggs one at a time after we put in the cream cheese and the sweetener. Eggs, eggs, eggs! One at a time, very slowly, so. So, I'm gonna warn y'all now that uh, the quality of the beginning of the video to the end of the video are gonna be completely different because my camera just died. I have this horrible habit of not charging batteries ever and I really need to step up my game with that. But uh, my batteries died so I had to switch cameras. So the quality is going to be a little bit different and I apologize for that. We are going to get started on the filling. Can you see that? I dropped it. I dropped everything everywhere. Now we're gonna beat in one egg at a time. Apparently I'm supposed to do it very slowly. Let's see how this goes. After we beat in the eggs, we're gonna beat in some lemon juice and some vanilla. And I think I'm also gonna do a little bit of lemon zest in the, um, inside the, the filling because I feel like lemon and raspberry go very well together. So I think it'd be really good to add a little bit of extra lemon flavor. Came over here to show you this. This is what our cheesecake looks like. I'm super excited because it's the first cheesecake I've ever made, ever, and I love cheesecake. So um, I'm gonna put this in the oven for about an hour. Oh, I don't know if y'all noticed this awesome merch shirt that I have on today, but whenever I get to 100 subscribers on social media, I am going to hold uh, a giveaway for uh, one person to get one of these awesome shirts. It's dirty and disgusting right now, but you'll get a clean one, I promise. See y'all in a few. I'm gonna go ahead and do the raspberry sauce real quick while we're waiting on this to bake. For the raspberry sauce, I am going to do a pack of raspberries, a little bit of water, and um, a little bit of sweetener, and I am going to let it cook down until it is saucy. And uh, that is it until the cheesecake's done. 
once the cheesecake is done I'll snap a picture to show y'all but all we have to do after that is uh, wait for it to cool down and then put it in the fridge for four hours so it's looking like midnight whenever this cheesecake is going to be done so uh, it'll be a late night tonight probably should have thought this through Hey everyone, so last night I definitely did not make it until midnight. I passed out at probably like 10.30, 11 o'clock. So um, I ate cheesecake for breakfast and it was pretty good. So I'm going to rate what I ate. On taste, I am going to give it probably a 6 or a 7, but that's because I messed up the recipe and didn't put enough sweetener in there because I thought the stevia was going to be too sweet and I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to put too much so I kind of screwed it up a little bit but it was pretty good I think if I would have put the correct amount it would have been delicious it would have been really good on presentation comparison I would give it a 10 the cheesecake came out very good it looked awesome on difficulty I would give it a 2 it was really easy uh, maybe a three because it had a lot of steps but it was super easy and uh, it just took very long a lot longer than I thought I didn't know cheesecake took that long thanks for watching everybody can't wait to see y'all next week bye bye